Let's talk about Terramine's BI reports, our intuitive dashboards to drill down into user data. You can access this feature by going to BI reports on the left-hand side and then clicking on any of our pre-built reporting options. Terramine offers several different BI reports that cover all of the different types of data we are able to capture from the machine. Like many other features of Terramind, all of the BI report dashboards are completely customizable and can be tailored to show the exact data you are looking to see. Let's check out the Applications and Websites BI report. At the top, you can adjust the time frame for which you would like to see the corresponding data by clicking on the calendar adjuster here. Adjusting the dates will change the data on the widgets and the plain grid below to reflect the applications and websites your employees have accessed during the time frame you select. Below, we have a few different tabs we can use to see the data. Each BI report will have various tabs at the top that can show the data differently. For this Applications and Websites report, we are currently on the basic view, but you can select the aggregated view to see the data in a different way. Clicking the aggregated view will adjust the apps and websites in the plain grid below to show your employees' most commonly used applications and websites. This is a helpful view to see where your employees are spending most of their time. You can click on the arrow next to any of the applications or websites to see the list of your employees in order from most to least usage for that specific application or website. The plain grid is also customizable, but we will get more into that later. Moving back up to the top, we also have the option to see the categorized view of these applications and websites. Here you will be able to see your users' applications and websites sorted into the plain grid below based on the category that the application or website would fit into. You can see on this widget here the different usage amounts based on the application or website's category over time. Classifying certain applications and websites as productive or unproductive allows you to assess your users' efficiency, and you can easily see your team's use of productive, unproductive, or unclassified applications here. Back up at the top, you can click on the gear icon here to edit the name of any of the tabs that are pre-existing, or if you create a new tab, you can change the name here as well. To create a new tab with new widgets of your choice, click on the plus sign to the far right. If you decide to make a clone of this dashboard and make any changes or edits, and create a new tab here at the top, you can click the trash can icon to delete this new tab. Let's say you want to edit any of the information you see on this report dashboard. The first step would be to put the report in edit mode. You can do this by clicking on the pencil icon located to the left of the filter button. Let's talk about the clone button over here on the left. Anytime you would like to make a new BI report or save any changes you've made, click on the clone button to create a new BI report. Once you select the clone button, your report will be saved and you can come back and access this edited report by going to BI reports and scrolling down to the bottom. The name of the cloned report will show as the type of BI report 1 by default. You can edit the name of the report by clicking on the gear icon to the right of the clone button. In the name field, you can enter the new name of the report. Also select if you would like to have any employees added within Terramine to also have permission to view the report or to have access to view and edit this report. After you've made your specifications related to permissions, hit OK to save the report. Once you've cloned a BI report, you will be able to access this report anytime you log into Terramind by going to BI reports and then scrolling down below the pre-built reports. You can delete a report from the screen as well by clicking on the X on the far right. The green export button can be used to export data located on the plain grid below in a CSV or Excel file. Click export to see your four different export options. The first option, Keep Dashboard Layout, will export the charts in their original dashboard layout. Select the Full Page Charts option to export each chart on its own page. If you select either of these first two options, if the report contains only grid widgets, it will be exported as a PDF file. If the report has a mix of charts or more than one grid widget, it will create a zip containing both PDF for the chart widgets and a CSV for the grid files. Click on the CSV export grid only option to export only the grid widgets on the report. Once you do this, you will see a green pop up that will give you the option to download a copy of the report on demand in a CSV Excel format. You also have the option to set up an automatic report. This can be helpful if you would like to see any reports you've set up in a CSV Excel file on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis without having to log into Terramind, which comes in handy when sharing data with stakeholders. In order to set up an automated export, click the Enable Auto Export box. For an extra layer of security, you have the option to encrypt the report with a password if you would like the report to be exported as a password-protected zip archive. 
For the export file, you can determine if you would like to receive a copy of the report daily, weekly, or monthly. Any export period you select, you will receive the corresponding report with the information from the day, week, or month prior. If you would like to receive the report on a daily or weekly basis, you can select the day or days that you would like to receive the report. Any days in orange will be the day or days that you receive the report. If you would like to receive the report monthly, you can select the day of the month that you would like to receive the report. Next, you can select the time of day that you would like to receive the report and whether or not you would like to keep the same dashboard layout. Finally, you can select the email address or multiple email addresses of the individuals that you would like to receive a copy of the report.